This is crazy. This is insane. <laughs> the original T-Rex head from Jurassic Park 1. This is the most insane collection I have ever seen. Now guys, we are back. It is time for part two of our Hollywood Walk of Fame sketchy video. If you haven't seen part one, it was straight up madness, yeah. Uh, but all right, so this, we're gonna be going to like this exhibit. It has one of the largest Jurassic Park prop collections in the world. It's insane. Okay, on that note, let's go finish our little adventure. You can stay at a hostel here um, on uh, the Walk of Fame. You can stay at a dorm for $35, or you can have your own room for $65. And it's right across from the Chinese theater. Yeah. Now, we found Tom Cruise's sign. Honestly, they should have just placed it outside the Scientology building. I don't know why he's outside the Chinese theater. Okay, we're at the Roosevelt Hotel. We're here to see a very special Hollywood Walk of Fame star. Very important to me. I have a nice family connection. We found it, yes. Motherland. We're at the motherland. I got a family. Vin Star right here. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, now uh, we're at this restaurant. It's called like 25 Degrees. It's in the Roosevelt Hotel. Super bougie. I walked through the lobby. It felt like I was walking through the Hollywood Tower of Terror, but before it went decrepit and haunted by ghosts. Um, so I got the like this burger. Apparently, it's the best burger in LA. Um, I got bacon, sharp cheddar. It's on a nice like brioche bun. Let's see how it is. Mm. Wow. That's an incredible burger. We just finished. Interesting experience. Burgers are really solid. Not the best burger I've ever had, but uh, we'll do a solid 9 out of 10. Some great meat and flavors. I like the cheese that was on it. These bodyguards came in, and they all had the earpieces, and there was like some other guy in, I guess he's very important, and like bodyguards look like they could like snap your neck, because they were like terrifying. Welcome to LA. You don't know like who's famous and who's not famous, and like you're looking at him like, who are you? But there's like all these bodyguards and managers around, and it's like kind of creepy and odd. So welcome to LA. We're in the Roosevelt Hotel. So it's like the bougie bougie hotel. This is where the restaurant is. I just, I went up to a guy who I thought it was the manager and said it was a great burger and I guess it was one of the bodyguards <coughs> roaming the hotel. Yes. Awkward. On the way to the bathroom, they have a mysterious bookshelf and I guess it opens up and becomes a comedy club. Where are we right now? Okay, now there's some uh, movie filming right here in front of the hotel. Did you see the light? Wait, what is going on here? We looked and it was uh, Derek Hoff. They're filming like a music video for another one bites of dust. So when that comes out, uh, we were standing there creepy in the bushes watching it happen. The most fun you can have with your clothes on. Where are we? James, James's house. Okay, so uh, this is Hollywood Toys and Costumes. They have a wig stylist on duty. But you know what I don't want to dress up as? As Chucky. <laughs> Look at this Chewbacca. Oh my gosh. What are we doing? And Norman Bates is over there. What is going on here? You can buy a Transformer costume here. They, they have everything. They have giraffes. I like that you can buy these um, just random frames, right? Look at these wigs. Wow. What is going on with that little demon teddy bear? Kevin, look at this. This is a deal and a half, Kevin. Oh, 30 bucks $30 for, for that much $100 bill. And you get a, you get a oh, bank look at those. Oh, yes. This is how 50 Cent shows that he's rich after yeah. he filed for bankruptcy. Yeah. The Creature from Black Lagoon and Jason. Okay, you can buy gas masks here, but they're uh, clown masks. They have these uh, mugs, and I guess you drink out of um, right there. You can buy an AK-47 uh, hookah next to that bear. That's a new star I've never seen before. Tabitha the Most Beautiful. Oh, no. Ah, pretty sure I just saw a drug deal happen back there. Believe it or not, I have seen girls wearing shoes like this walking around the World Showcase. I don't know how they did it, but they probably ended up with a broken ankle. All right, so we're going to be going to this brand new exhibit, Icons of Darkness. For movies, I'm super excited. All right, so there's a bunch of like creepy monsters in the front, Alien vs. Predator, greatest sci-fi fantasy and horror artifact collection on Earth. Wow. Welcome. Holy crap. Oh. I was not expecting this to be this big. Yeah, just so what's going on here, everything here is free news and was on set for the movies. Oh my god. So a little thing that not many people know as Batman. What? <laughs> really? What? Yeah, he's right, the so only Batman to get away with wearing Jordans. He's wearing Jordan ones? Oh my gosh. So this is the original Michael Keaton Batman costume. Batman. This is Catwoman's original costume. This is crazy that the leather is held up over time. And then you got Danny DeVito's penguin costume. Terrifying. But it's just so highly detailed. And you have Alfred. And then you have Nick Fury's costume. Wow. It's a stunt head too. It's a stunt head? Yeah, the stunt men like you like wear like uh Yeah. That's insane. Oh yes. 
So that's Batman. They have Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze costume. Oh, they even have Christian Bale's Batman Begins. No, one of my favorite. Oh God, what the? Oh. <laughs> Scared, scared the crap, crap out, of out of me. Robocop. They have Val Kilmer's suit. Now the Joker popped up and scared the crap out of us. So they have Green Goblin's original helmet. He spent like $27,000 on this. Wesley Snipes, Tobey Maguire, Judge Dredd up there with Stallone, Hugh Jackman. Oh man, Christopher Reeves, Superman costume. What? Look at all the gremlins. What? Look at little Gizmo. This is crazy. <laughs> this is insane. I'm not sure if you've ever seen Gremlins. Like they deteriorate. Yeah. Like, the, the fact that they're in this condition is insane. Oh my gosh. The Wizard of Oz, Wicked Witch. And this is this is probably from the sequel. Yeah. Lord of the Rings, Land of the Lost. This is probably the Will Ferrell version. This is insane. And then we get the Cyclops from Chronicles of Narnia. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Right, so this is the screen used costume from Catching Fire from Hunger Games of Katniss. Oh my god, we're heading into the Star Wars stuff. Now he said that somebody came in and offered a half million dollars for the original Darth Maul costume. Independence Day aliens? What? Those are actually screen use? No, I'm a huge Planet of the Apes fan. So this is from uh, Tim Burton's version of Planet of the Apes. Not the best movie, but oh, where are we going right now? The Hannibal Lecter's costume. Personally gifted from Stan Winston himself to Rich. There's just so many aliens and so many predators here. This is just insane. From Predator 2, from Predators, from 2010, Alien Resurrection. I tried to forget about that movie. They had a face hugger that jumps out. Okay, they have the original costume from Pumpkinhead. This is insane. And then, yeah, oh, they have, apparently this is Tim Burton's actual Jack Skellington that they kind of base. Oh, God. Remember England's life cast for Freddy Krueger? Oh, little Chucky. How I try to forget you from my dreams. And I, I'm a huge Jurassic Park fan. This is the T-Rex head from the Lost World that they used that was on the animatronics. <laughs> what the? I never thought in a million years I would see. Like that's such an iconic scene. Watching the little baby raptor hatch and it's right here. This is so cool. So these are all from the animatronics that were used. This is the most insane collection I have ever seen. 
Yeah, this is just crazy to see in person. The Spinosaurus. I can just see him like going in the water, attacking them when they're trying to get the uh, phone in the cage. This is the original from Jurassic Park 3, the raptor costume for the guys in it. The baby T-Rex from uh, The Lost World. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the original T-Rex head from Jurassic Park 1. Wow. This so I'm hoping you guys know what that looks like. I would just sit there and wait. This thing, it was raining, so the foam started absorbing so much that it was leaking into the animatronics. You know the scene where there's, it's crushing the Jeep and the windshield cracks? That windshield wasn't supposed to crack. The juvenile Stegosaurus in Lost World that like peeks through the bushes. The original Alpha Raptor. Oh, the original thing custom from the Fantastic Four. Oh, this creature from the Black Lagoon is <laughs> from the Grotto. <laughs> From the Playboy Mansion. Okay, seeing the Night King just makes me so mad about how Game of Thrones ended. Oh my gosh. From Benjamin Button when Brad Pitt is middle aged, when he's a baby, and when he's young, but he's old. Alright, so it's the screen used helmet from the Rockets here. Christopher Lloyd's original costume with a remote from Back to the Future, which is crazy. And then to end it off, a copy made from the original mold. E.T. That is so cool. And finally, you're gonna end it with a bunch of Batman. Yeah, so there's a guy uh, banging his head against the wall, like a concrete wall. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Help. So we just got back to the hotel, and I reek of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So, oh god, I smell so bad. Yeah, that was an interesting day. I'm rewatching the footage. I feel like I didn't capture the little museum properly. There's just so much going on uh, at that time, and I was kind of just nerding out, looking at everything. So I didn't film the video how I envisioned I filmed it so I'm sorry about that but uh, they will be moving to a bigger space in a couple months so I'll probably go back another time and then capture everything I just had so much fun because like you know growing up you watch all these behind the scenes features of how Jurassic Park was made you watch the animatronics being made and I always wondered like what happened to them right I always thought like the giant t-rex heads got destroyed or something I didn't realize they were all in this one guy's collection and it wasn't just that there were just so many different props from pop culture and movies and my mind was just blown because I have never seen a collection like that all in one place. If you are on the Walk of Fame, highly suggest it's a little bit further down from the Chinese theater to go visit, I, what is it, Icons of Horror? All right, so we're gonna be going to this brand new exhibit, Icons of Darkness. Really cool. Oh, and uh, we did find out what Derek Huff was filming. Uh, I guess there was an ABC sing-along for Queen. So that's what they were um, dancing to when we were kind of peeking through the bushes. That's the thing about Hollywood and California. You never know what you're gonna see or what they're filming and there's just constantly something going on. So we're off to Bush Gardens right now. That video will be out soon. And then tomorrow we go to the Tribute Store at Universal Studios for the Christmas time and I get to see my portrait for Earl the Squirrel. I'm really excited about that. Okay, we have a lot going on this week. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to join the family, hit the subscribe button because guys, I will keep you up to date on all things theme park and sketchy around the country and the world. Okay, I love you all. Please stay safe and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. We are just sitting here before we have our long Uber back by the fire. Hooray for Hollywood.